Namaste and blessings. This is Tefnut Light with your reading for August 2015. I hope you're doing really well, Scorpio. I know your planet's been retrograde for a while and we have a lot of other planet retrogrades, but it's okay. All is well. There's a reason for this. Your planet will be going direct in September. So it's like the final chapter is just starting to really bring on the blossoms and the blessings. So we trust that. And I hope you had a beautiful blue moon really aspecting a lot of different areas of inventions and just the heart between the heart, the head and the heart, getting out of fear and getting into love. So that's really what this was really about. And we have a awesome Jupiter transit going on soon, which is going to be switching signs from Leo to Virgo on the 11th, the 11th gateway activation. We also had a triple magical day in the number of eight which is the number of the year. So it was infinity triple eight on the 888. So that's really abundant. We're opening up that gateway, that space of infinity, of abundance and love. So really powerful. This month is very powerful. It is having us look at our relationships. It is having us look at every aspect of our life. It's being reborn, especially for you, beautiful Scorpio. So trust the energy and treat yourself well and right. But you may be feeling that this energy is actually serving you in a way. Because it's having you look at, you know, the other side of love in an aspect, the other side of life. And I feel that you have that. I feel like it's about showing it to people and connecting deeply with others right now. So let's get into the tarot deck. This is the Voyager Tarot. This was my first ever deck I got. I love this deck. It's very powerful, really beautiful, and it has some healing energy to it. So I'm going to be reading you from this. If you would like a personalized reading as this is a um, general reading for your sign, for your, depending on where your moon, your sun, or your rising is, um, please go to my website and we can do a session together. I do 30-minute sessions, one-hour sessions, and I also do 30-minute um, video readings if you are not available for a session in person. I mean, in terms of Skype. So I have that, and I also do Reiki. If you want a Reiki session helping you heal on some aspect in your life and sending you love on that, I do a full amazing hour session with you and send you that healing light. And I also offer meditation videos. So if any of those things grab your attention, grab your heart, please do go to my website, and I would love to help you illuminate your path even further into your greatness. All right, let's get started, beautiful Scorpio. And I'm focusing on your energy right now, bringing in the light source and the love. And I feel like you've come a long way because it's amazing. Last year, we had, we had you in Saturn for quite some time, and then it went to, to um, Sagittarius. And then in June, it went back into your sign, but it was it's retrograde. So you're really looking at a lot of aspects right now, working very hard, I'm feeling, but the rewards are coming. So trust that. All right. So this is the beginning of the month. I'm going to pull three cards, one for the beginning, one for the middle, and one for the end. All right. And this is the card that wants to come up. So the beginning of the month, it's six of crystals. So it says confusion, but there's a lot of colors. If you see all the colors right here, there's red, there's blue. There's just, I feel like there's a mixture of everything going on in your life right now. That's what I'm feeling. It's not really confusion. It's just, there is so much stuff going on and crystals give us information. It is really about your thoughts. So I feel the beginning of the month, you could be feeling slightly like, where is everything going? Where is this going? Um, but the six is really about um, aligning yourself. It's about aligning yourself to the, how you want to live. So I feel like you're, you're putting your crystals in alignment if you can. And six is a really good number. It is the number of the abundant goddess. But this has to do with your thoughts. So I feel like it's about getting your thoughts clear, clearing your head and clearing your mind as something could have been illuminated. And I feel like it has to do with the Aquarian full moon because Aquarius is about quick inventions, quick ideas. So there could be some kind of confusion, but through the confusion, there's going to be an illumination. 
So really getting those things in a row and just allowing yourself to let go of some thoughts that don't serve you, cleansing yourself, getting um, some energy healing done, or also possibly doing some chakra healing meditations with sound because sound really gets your thoughts more aligned. So the beginning of the month is just something is going to be a little different than you're used to and it's actually okay because through confusion there comes illumination too I feel especially with all those crystals and all those colors I feel like it's a get, a getting your thoughts organized so get your thoughts organized get your head clear that's what's really important right now so and that's okay you're headed that way so the middle of the month for Scorpio August 2015 This is the card that wants to come up and you're going to get a reward at the middle of the month. This has to do with the Leo full moon, uh, sorry, new moon that's coming up. You're going to be feeling fullness and wholeness because this is the 10 of worlds. This has to do with finance, with family, it's earth energy. With career, you're going to start feeling the planets are going to be shifting a little bit more towards the middle of the month. And we have Virgo going into Jupiter. So this Jupiter Virgo transit is going to be really good for you, I feel. You're going to be feeling more grounded, more supported, more abundant. Um, there's something that's going to come. Some gifts are coming to you, but there's rewards. The confusion was there because something had to shift. Something had to be a little cloudy and everything was just there at once. You're like, okay, what do I do here now? It's just about getting those thoughts organized, clearing that away and getting into your heart and not worrying because Aquarius is the one that has so many thoughts and so many ideas. So you might be feeling some of that energy at the beginning of the month, but through the organization and the inventions that you're starting to create in your life through that confusion, just allowing it all to merge together and then also allowing it just to go away if it's not needed. Um, there's going to be a lot of rewards and the 10 of worlds is the best card in finance. So it's about finance, about feeling supported, loved, nurtured. There is a lot of things. So don't overdo food as you might want to with Venus retrograde, but that's okay. But this is an apple. So there's wisdom, there's learning, there's teaching. There's um, just, there's finances, there's money. It's just like, it's beautiful. And there's even partnerships here on the beach. So I feel like it's like having you take a walk on the beach, feeling abundant, feel, filling up yourself abundantly, eating the right foods, being around family, getting the right things in your system. Virgo is going to have you look at aspects of home, family, and nutrition because that's what they're about. They like the foundation. They like to feel sturdy. And 10 is really about, it's about new beginnings, but it's about coming and getting everything put together. So to say, so it's like all your rewards you've been waiting for are now here for you to receive. So that's an amazing energy right there. So trust the energy. It's an earth energy. It's very stable. I think you'll like that energy actually. So yeah, let's get into the end of the month for you very beautiful Scorpio and I feel like it has to do with wisdom too because the apple is knowledge and wisdom so you could be teaching you could be sharing something you could be sharing your abundance that would be really good because then more flow comes in your life that's really really nice so abundance is on its way for you yes abundance and love all right the, the end of the month for Scorpio August 2015 and this is the card. Let's come up. Ooh, it's the star card. That is so nice. So you got the star card and your wish is granted and you feel like, wow, now I finally have arrived. My wishes are coming true. Uh, especially the beginning is like, oh, confusion. And it's now like some invention that you had idea about that was confusing. Now the light is shining bright and you are the star. It is time for you to make that wish. And I feel like you're going to be feeling a more forward motion in your life after this aspect and then going into September. So that's really nice, really good energy for you. That's all I pretty much can say. So the star card is about making the wish, a wish coming true, it's hope. It's like a, a guided light in the right direction for you from all this confusion, from all this like going inward again. And there is light and there's hope. And there it is. Your answer is right in front of you. So have a beautiful month. Beautiful Scorpio. 
And again, if you'd like a personalized reading, a personal reading, my website is below and I would love to illuminate your path. Just trust that. The star card is there. It's Quan Yin. She's about compassion, about love, loving others, loving herself, and feeling like you are the guided force and you are the being guided and you are guiding others. So trust that. People look up to you. You're a wise, deep soul. Much love and light your way. Namaste. See you soon. Beautiful divine star.